Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for seven tonight. He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree. Hugging and kissing just you and me. from Southern Country Living and today I'm making my cornbread dressing recipe. Uh, yesterday I cooked a, a pan of cornbread and also I cut my biscuits and so I like to do it a day ahead so that they dry out um, before I make my dressing. That's the way I like to do it and I've always done it that way and it works great for me. And uh, also I'm uh, cooking my chicken over here in this pot. <laughs> it's chicken breast and um, it is the kind that's got the bone on it. I get that kind for better flavor. <laughs> and so uh, I usually cook it for about 15 minutes, then I let it cool, and then I break it up, and um, I add it to my dressing. And so uh, I've got some prep work to do today. I've got to chop up my celery and my onions. And um, so uh, let me get started on that, and I'll be back. All right, my uh, chicken, I've already got it deboned and it's cooled. And this right here is my chicken broth and uh, I put my uh, celery and onion in it to let it get uh, softened up. And so now I'm going to crumble up my cornbread and my biscuits. And sometimes uh, when your cornbread sets a little bit, you have to have a spatula to pry it up. <laughs> okay, so. And uh, this recipe will be in the description below. Our family's been making this dressing for years like this. This is the way we like to make it. I know a lot of people put different things in their dressing, but we really don't like cranberries and sausage and all that in ours. But it's however, everybody's different and everybody's got their own way that they like theirs. And when I make my dressing, I usually put less biscuits in it than I do cornbread. And the amounts of the cornbread and the biscuit will be in the recipe in the description below. And um, I think I'm just going to use about four of these today. These were the best tasting biscuits. When I made these biscuits, I uh, also made me a sausage biscuit that morning, and it was really good. The reason I don't put as much biscuit in it is it doesn't. I don't like the texture in it if there's more biscuits in it than cornbread.
I believe that might be enough biscuits right there. Let me wash my hands and I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm going to be adding in my sage. We don't like a whole lot of sage either. We like, some people put a lot of sage, but we don't like a whole lot. Okay, now that, let me stir all this up. I think I have that stirred up good enough. So now I'm going to add in my onions and chicken broth. Smell good. <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying how it's smelling and looking. Mm. That is my favorite meal that you ever cook. Yeah. Okay. Now then I'm going to put two eggs in. in well, I think I'm going to put this in there and then I'm going to put my eggs. Chicken. Yes. Now then I'm going to put my two eggs in. I'm going to get me a fork and beat those up just a little bit. I hope everybody is having a good day today. It's kind of overcast here today. I'm looking forward to this dressing.
So um, now I'm going to be adding in my chicken. It's pretty in here in this bowl. <laughs> okay, I'm going to wash my hands one more time. Okay, I've got my dressing all mixed up good now, and so I'm going to pour it into my um, pan. Okay, I just got my dressing poured into my pan, and so I'm going to be cooking it for about 45 to 50 minutes at 350 degrees. And while this is cooking, I'm going to make in my gravy. My cornbread dressing is cooking, and so now I'm going to be making my gravy. So I'm going to be adding um, two cans of cream of chicken. Then I'm going to be adding a cup of water to this. We really do like this gravy. It's like I said, it's really fast and easy, and we like it as good as all uh, the other gravies that people make that <laughs> take a long time. <laughs> pepper in and this uh, recipe will be in the description below also chicken so now I'm going to add my parsley and I'm going to let this cook um, I'm going to let this come to a boil and then I'm going to cook it for about five minutes 
The gravy's came to a boil now and it's been cooking for about five minutes. And my uh, cornbread dressing just likes a few more minutes being done and so I'm gonna be ready to serve it up in just a few minutes. Okay, my dressing just came out of the oven and I uh, know it's two weeks till Thanksgiving, but I wanted to share y'all my fast and easy dressing recipe and uh, it's really good and one of the things that makes this really uh, fast and easy recipe is I cook my bread a day ahead of time and I don't have to do it on the day that I make my dressing and I'll let my bread dry out and so um, let me serve us up some of this dressing and I know it's going to be good. <laughs> And now let me put my fast and easy uh, chicken gravy on it. And this dressing is very moist. Taste test. Mmm, this really looks good. Mmm. That's delicious. <laughs> but my dressing always is. <laughs> okay, let me take another side of this with some cranberry salt. That's the way I like to eat it. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed my um, old-fashioned cornbread dressing. And so, do what you love and love what you do. And y'all have a great day. Bye. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time